Thanks a lot for coming to New Orleans and being here. Um, I've had a, cousins that had an independent label and have a client that has an independent label now. And I hear, I've heard the same thing from both of them in terms of uh, cash flow being squeezed by the distributors and problems with distributors. And could you talk a little bit about that? Is that something you experienced and what causes that and how that could possibly be fixed? The only way to fix it <clears throat> is to come up with something that the distributor wants. Unfortunately, that's a, a factor of, of existence, you know, is that, is that if you, um, again, earlier we were talking and I was <clears throat> explaining that what puts independent companies out of business more than anything else is having a hit. Because when you have a hit, you don't collect from your distributor because they're used to, let's say you, let's say you have a specialist label or a certain kind of business uh, which does business with a distributor $1,000 a month, let's say. If you have something which is a hit and suddenly in a month you do $10,000, you're not going to collect that other $9,000 <coughs> until you have something else which is going to want them to uh, really have to deal with you. And it's just a fact. It's just as one of the, you know, it's just, it's just a fact. Nothing to do with the law. It's just a fact. You know? And as you were saying, I mean, distribution follows marketing. A lot of people mm -hmm. think they get a distribution deal and their problems are over. It's often the, the, the end. You know, record business is a pull-through business, not a push-through business. You've got to make people right. pull the, the titles out. So tell them they just need another, another, another one the distributors want, then they'll pay them. <laughs> That's exactly what they said. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep giving them records in order to stay in business. Right? Yeah. 